Hi guys, welcome to this short video about what you can do if you have such a nice, beautiful solar light and it's not working anymore or you bought it and it's never really worked. So what could be the problem? Of course, there are a couple of different components, but most of them never really fail. I have never seen a PIR sensor failing. I've never seen LEDs, especially when we have so many failing. Also the solar panel. I mean, of course, over time it can get cloudy and then you can do something. I have also videos about what you can do. You can sand it, you can apply clear finish, you can do a lot here, but it won't be really damaged. The only parts which usually get damaged or arrive damaged are two things. The first thing is, of course, the battery and the second thing is the on off switch here we have a very special thing a special switch here deep inside hold you have to use a toothpick or needle something like that push it inside and then you can turn it on or off so let's open it see what we can do i have seen many such or a very similar light so i think most of them are built in a very similar way what we have to do here is of course we have to remove all the screws here in the back and then we can open that i highly recommend to be careful here because it has also to be somehow waterproof i mean not uh, of course for submerging but it should be protected against uh, rain and we have to make sure that it stays like that so it's better to not open it from the top it's better to open it from the bottom because no matter what you do here even if you leave a hole after that there won't be any water flowing from underneath water is always coming from the top so we have to be a little bit careful just go along the edges with a screwdriver of course a pry tool would be even better and uh, some metal screwdriver we also have to be very careful when we uh, pull this off here that there are no wires connected it's usually not but it could be so you can see it is very simply made and i would say this is probably for 90 uh, percent of these solar lights so we can remove uh, almost everything all the components you can see them here a little bit of electronics and the switch here we have the battery and here we have the solar panel of course you could remove that but it's hard probably to find a suitable solar panel if it's damaged but uh, usually it is not and so the only things which i see here are this part here the electronics with the switch so if you are lucky we can remove that and do something with it so now you can see we have it and so here we have the pir sensor and here we have the on off switch you can see that's the thing which we have to push in here with a needle from outside and then hitting this switch here and for some reason this doesn't work here anymore so the only thing which this thing is doing it makes some connection here between these pins but you can see it's still working in general also the battery is working if the battery is not working anymore of course you could remove these screws take out this battery buy a new one you can buy such uh, batteries of course you have to remove the plastic here find out what kind of battery it is and then plug it in here maybe it's even a problem with the pir sensor by the way we can remove this cap here then we can see this sensor here but then it's not waterproof anymore of course we want to have it waterproof so i think really here in this situation this switch is damaged has weak contact somehow i don't know how what's of course very important when you're working with it always make sure that the solar panel uh, has no light on it otherwise it won't work you can see the difference here because they only work at night they don't have built-in additional sensor they only realize if there is some power generated by the solar panel or not and here it's not they can even measure some very very low voltage here from the inside light so we really have to totally protect it and only then it will work so make sure that you have always when you are doing something here that you always have the solar panel down here and only then it would work but here we really have some weak contact somewhere 
can use this switch over and over and it always works for short time and the light is very bright so it's definitely not the battery there is some weak contact either in the switch or somewhere else i could remove the switch or short circuit it yeah i think now i have found it you can see there are these pins these two pins on the right side when i connect them it seems to work so you could connect these two pins here is a little bit of solder and it looks like then it would probably work you could also connect the ones on the left side doesn't matter you can see that yeah it should be a very easy fix here to just connect these two pins or these two pins on this side you can see when i touch with the screwdriver in between and short circuit it then it's working every time when i touch it of course you couldn't use the switch anymore to turn it off but it would be always on and that's usually what we want so this would be definitely the solution here to fix that and i would say it's probably in 50 percent of the cases that's the problem here especially when it arrives and it's not working when it's not working after a couple of months or years then it's usually the battery which you have to replace and here in this case it's very easy you just have to find the correct battery either with the correct plug here or you just cut it here in the middle and then connect the wires again of course these things are not very expensive but if you have enough time and don't want to put these things into trash then why not and so i've been thinking it should be an easy job to do this here and you can see i have done already both of the connections here just applied some heat here and applied some solder here and i think both of the connections are really solid now and we can see that it's really working always when we remove it here get sunlight and then we put it down it will work no matter in which position it is you can see i can push it inside can push it outside so now we have completely disabled this button here and it should work all the time unless there is some other things damaged so i'll put it outside and then test it tonight and then finalize the video by the way the model and brand here in this case is a loss Creel model LUSSL142 and so I've added the light the path light now outside by the way it's the third out of four light that's the next one here on the left side yeah that was the thing and it looks like it is working now as normal again so it looks like uh, it was just the switch which was broken and now everything is perfectly working again so that's it for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you liked the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time